Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy, sorry to wake you up so early, but please come downstairs. We have a big surprise for you. Okay mom, dad, and grandma, why did you wake us up so early? And what's the surprise? You know how today is Black Friday. Oh yeah, happy Black Friday. Well, because today is Black Friday, we're going to Walmart to buy some stuff. Everything is on huge sale, so there's going to be a lot of people there. You need to be on your best behavior. Got that? Yes, Dad. We will definitely be on our best behavior. I can't wait to go. Well, what are we waiting for? Get dressed, put on your coats, and let's go. The sooner we go, the further in the line we'll be. So, up the bad guys trying to start World War III, and he's collected all kinds of weapons such as guns, grenades, and bombs, and up, he just writes threats everywhere saying that if they don't join, they will die. Oh Fox, as you really rule, that is such a funny part of the story. The more story you tell, the less we'll have to wait for Walmart to open and buy up. So the bad guy finds a person named Ronald Paul, and Ronald joins him to start World War III. And then after that, chaos starts erupting. I wonder what I'll buy at Walmart. <laughs> well, you've got lots of options since everything is on huge sale. The store is going to open very soon, so listen for directions from the police. May I have everyone's attention, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. As you all know, today is Black Friday, which means everything is on huge sale. Before we open up, we have a few rules to go over. No yelling, no screaming, no running, no fighting over stuff, no cutting in line, etc. The Black Friday sale will officially begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come, Come on in. in. So Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy, anything you might want around here? Ooh, an iMac 2020. We really want that. Oh, I'm really sorry Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy. But even though it is on sale big time, I'm afraid we can't afford it. But it's genuine, can we get it? Didn't I already tell you? You know the answer, no. Let's keep looking for something that is cheaper. We still need some money for Christmas. Grandma, you don't know what we could use it for. We can use it for educational purposes. Well why don't we buy you each your own laptop instead? Each is only $100 due to sale. I can so afford it. No. We want an iMac, not a stupid laptop. Laptops are so slow. Give us an iMac right now. Cut it out right now. We are in a public place. You are drawing some people's attention. We don't care. Give us the iMac or we will burn this store down to the ground. Ooh. A new iMac. And it's less than half the normal price. You think I should get it? Oh my god. Fox and Nick really rule. We need that. Get it, now. Well Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy, now you might as well get your own laptops, because Fox and Nick really rule and friends are already buying the iMac. Hey! What do you think you are doing? Get back here right now. Um, Fox, and Nick really rule, you might want to turn around. Some bad guys are trying to steal your stuff. Nope. There is no entry. Back off. Don't worry. My friends are here to protect me. Oh look, here come your parents. That's it, little Einsteins. We are going home and you are getting absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay, now that those idiots are gone, your total cost for the iMac, flat screen TV, Nintendo Switch Lite, car camera, clothes, and iPhone will be $1,340.23. Oh my god. Leo Quincy Annie and June, how dare you yell at the store and almost steal Fox and Nick really rules stuff? You know much better than that. That is so freaking it. You guys are so 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 grounded for 1100 centuries. Get upstairs to your room right now, and tomorrow will be punishment day. No 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 no. Not punishment day. Anything but that. Wa 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 wa
Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy, the reason we are all formally dressed up is because we are going to Las Vegas for a party, but you guys can't come because just like the other party we went to back in July, this one also has alcohol. Okay, but can we stay home alone this time? Absolutely not. If we leave you home alone, one, you'll cause trouble, and two, robbers might come in and steal our stuff, so we are leaving you with a babysitter. We will have Mrs. Robin babysit you. Come on, Mrs. Robin. She got us in trouble for suggesting Dora and Little Bill to write a half-page rant on Fox and Nick really rule. Please. We just want the whole house to ourselves. Mrs. Robin is babysitting you so you better get used to it. Come on in. Thanks for letting me babysit the little Einsteins, Daniel, Kate and Ravina. I'll make sure they don't misbehave or do anything bad. You're welcome. Remember, breakfast is at 7.45, lunch is at 12.30, and dinner is at 5.30, and the little Einsteins are to go to bed one hour after dinner. Sure thing, Daniel. I'll be sure to remember. All right, little Einsteins. I'm in charge of you as long as your parents are out. Please don't be too strict. We're sorry for suggesting Dora and Little Bill to rant on Fox and Nick really rule. Well, let's get your minds off the mayhem with a little TV. Oh, okay then. At least this is better than our last babysitter. Hey. What show is this? We're watching The Simpsons. No way. I want to watch a little Bill. I want to watch Bubble Guppies. I want to watch Dora the Explorer. I want to watch Yo Gabba Gabba. Nope, we are not watching Dora, Yo Gabba Gabba, Little Bill, or Bubble Guppies. All those shows are for babies. We are watching The Simpsons and that's final. That's it. I'm unplugging the TV until we watch a baby show. All right, Leo Quincy Annie, and June, as for unplugging the TV and ruining my Simpsons, you are on strike one, four more and I'm calling. Now let's go eat dinner. Is this bullcrap? Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, for using foul language and insulting my cooking, you are on your second strike, three more and off to getting grounded you go. Anyway, I cooked meatloaf, peas, and mashed potatoes, now eat them up, they'll make you big. Are you kidding me? This looks and tastes disgusting. I want to eat at Burger King. I want to eat at McDonald's. I want to eat at Chuck E. Cheese's. I want to eat at Kentucky Fried Chicken. Knock it off. Now eat your food before it gets cold. Make us. Okay, that's your third strike. You are more than halfway to getting in trouble. As your punishment, you are all getting sent to bed early. Go to bed right now. No dessert tonight. Girls, we need some way to revenge on Mrs. Robin. That idiot has gone way too far. I know, right? Let's think on what we should do. I have an idea guys. Really? What is that? Let's sneak off to Six Flags while Mrs. Robin is not looking. Awesome. Let's go. Hooray. Six Flags, we are here. Hey, is that Fox and Nick really rule and friends? So guys, can you believe we're having a warm day after a super cold one yesterday? I cannot believe it. Yesterday, it was park is at 25, and today, it's short sleeves at 75. Us as well. Crazy weather. Oh my god. It's them. We better get in the back of the line. Um guys, you wanna cut in front of us? Really? That's actually very nice. Thank you so much. And did you hear the weather is going to stay like this until it rains on December 2nd? Really? That's crazy. Oh look, the line is moving. Let's go everyone. Ooh, El Toro is so much fun. I agree with you, June. Me too. Me three. Wait a second. Did I just hear, whoa, the little Einsteins? Uh oh. Fox and Nick really rule, yes you did. They're right in front of us. Uh oh. We've been caught. Leo, Annie, June, and Quincy. You are in trouble now. I may not use my phone right now, but I will call your babysitter about this once we get off the ride. Oh, my, God. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, 
I can't believe you disobeyed me and ran away to Six Flags. Do you even know how dangerous that was? You could have gotten kidnapped by a stranger, but it's a good thing Fox and Nick really rule caught you for. When we get home, you guys will be on your fourth strike. One more and you guys will get it. Mrs. Robin? More like Mrs. Bomb, Bin. Oh my god, she is such a terrible teacher and babysitter. She sucks because she forces to do things we don't want to do, and that makes her so bossy. And at school, she got us in trouble because we suggested Dora and Little Bill to write a half-page rant on Fox and Nick really rule. Do you know who likes Mrs. Robin? Caillou. No wonder he is the best student in her class. And do you know who hates Mrs. Robin? Dora and Little Bill. They wish they never had Mrs. Robin as their teacher in the first place. So screw Mrs. Robin. And screw Fox and Nick really ruling those stupid friends of his. The Wonder Pets is so many times better than Mrs. Robin. End of rant. Leo Quincy Annie and June Einstein. How freaking dare you rant on me. That's so totally it. You guys have received all five strikes. I'm so calling mom, dad, and grandma. Hello, is this Daniel speaking? Yes. The little Einsteins have disrespected me the entire time I babysat. Oh, you guys are on the plane. Great, I'll see you in a bit. Bye. Leo, Quincy, Annie, June. How dare you guys disrespect Mrs. Robin. That's it. You are so grounded until 2021. This means no presents on Christmas. Go to bed right now, and you will not change into those pajamas of yours. Leo, Quincy, Annie, June, shut the heck up and go to sleep right now. Go to your room right now, Leo. Shut the freaking hell up, Dad. You are just a piece of crap. Oh my god, Leo, how dare you talk back to me? That's it, you are so grounded for 18 additional months. And for your punishment, I will carry you to your room. Wah 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 Put me down dad. Second punishment, I will throw you on top of the little Einsteins. Oh no 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 no. Ow, Leo, why did you just jump on us like that? I didn't jump on you guys, dad threw me on you. What, dad, why did you have to throw Leo on us like that? You know we're all in pain now thanks to you. I don't care if you're in pain. Now I'll be locking this door. You guys do not leave under any circumstances. Have fun being grounded. Okay class. It's time for me to give you back your tests from last week. Let's see how you did. Everyone that is except for the little Einsteins, who all got zeros. In fact, I have a note for you. I'm sending this note home to your parents. Because you guys have been really bad people, I think you should go to Smile Away Reform School. It will teach you not to do bad things like getting me fired. But Dad, please don't sign it. To bad June. You, Leo, Quincy, and Annie have caused way too much trouble here at home and at school, so some Smile Away Reform School should help you improve. This will teach you not to do bad things in life. There. It has been signed. You guys are going to Smile Away Reform School, whether you like it or not. Come on in. Hi Daniel, Kate, and Ravini. Is the form signed? It has. Take the little Einsteins away. Alrighty then. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, you are my last troublemakers to join my school. Come on, let's go. No way. We will not get on the bus. Make us. You better listen up. You get on the bus right now or I will drag you all feed first on the bus. Okay, okay, okay. By little Einsteins. See you when you improve. Hooray. Kate, Ravina, the little Einsteins are gone. I'm going to give Fox and Nick really rule and Sean Sullivan a call right now. We all heard the news. Not only are the little Einsteins going to smile away reform school, but also Dora, little Bill, Kylan, her animal friends, Oswald, the Wonder Pants, the Backyardigans, Wubsy, Daisy, Clyde, Viley, Kenward, Raven, 
Rebecca, and Lou. And also Snowy the dog, Jaden, William, Arthur, D.W., Kate, Joseph, Oabai, Barney, and Delmo. Wow. Just wow. Every troublemaker ever. Come on, let's party. Free maggots. You guys are here because your parents, the new Sunrise, and Fox and Nick really rule hate you. All to you every single day is cause trouble, and you always get grounded. It's time we get serious. Little Bill? Dora? Kylan? You're in Smile Away Reform School too? Yes we are. I can't believe we got sent here. This going to be torture. I really hate that guy already. Hey! You two shut up. You are not supposed to be talking while I'm talking. I have the knowledge to kick you guys in the stomach, so you better watch what you do, or you're in for it. I'm watching you like a hawk. Sure, whatever. Alright then, listen up people. We've got our own ways here wherever you are. If you guys start out at the bottom and pay your dues, life here can be a dream come true. But if you try to escape or anything bad, you're just hurting yourself. So, let's start the day off by going to the classroom. Everyone, follow me. Alright. Now that we're in the classroom, it's time to go over the rules. The rules are, no talking while I'm talking, no breathing, no blinking, no moving, no using the bathroom, no burping, no farting, no smiling, no fun, no eating, no drinking. And most importantly, no escaping under any circumstances. Are you with me? Are you with me? I said, are you with me? Yes sir. Good good. Now let's get started with our first assignment. You are to write a 100 page essay on why you like Fox and Nick really rule, and it must be done in exactly one minute. If you don't do this, you're in for big consequences. Go. Leo. It has been one minute and you did not even write one word. I've got a big surprise for you. You're the worst student ever. I wish you never existed. Now sit your butt down or I will keep doing this to you. Alright guys, I think this is how you guys will improve. We are all going outside to run 100 miles around the facility. Everyone outside. I set everyone outside right now. Are you freaking kidding me guys? You can run faster than that. We've only gotten started with the 100 mile run, so you will better run faster. That's not any faster you slow pokes. You're all just running slow. Pick up the pace right now. Move it before things get worse. Pass the ball already. We have a game to play. If any of you get to three within five minutes, you'll have some dinner, or the other team will get sent to bed early. You know Leo, you really suck at playing soccer, no offense. Shut up Linny. Let me focus. Heads up Leo. Whoa. Oh 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 oh. That hurt a lot. What's the matter? You, you got, got hit because, because you weren't paying attention. attention. It, it looks, looks like, like you and you three animals need to go to bed early. What? We go to bed early? You're in Smile Away Reform School now, guys. 
You live under rules until I let you go. You guys will go to bed early. But first, I want you to clean the bathroom and no funky rhythms while you do it. Get cleaning now. Whatever. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. As for everyone else, it's time for dinner. Let's go to the dinner table. You'll love the ocean trout. This is just great. Just because I got hit, we got sent to bed early, not to mention having to clean up this disgust first. Well, at least it's the four of us doing it together. What's gonna work? Teamwork. What's gonna work? Teamwork. Excuse me. I said no funky rhythms. Oops. Sorry. Just get back to work. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. I think the bathroom looks clean enough. Let's go to bed, man. Linny, don't you hate Smile Away Reform School? I certainly do. Why did my parents send me here in the first place? I should have never done things like brag the pizza guy, ranted on Brendan Barney with Duck and Ming Ming, or got anyone I know arrested. I would have never ended up here to begin with. I so agree. Why did I do all kinds of bad things too? I would have never ended up here in the first place. Well let's hope things get better tomorrow. Good night Leo. Yeah. You fall asleep tonight, while I escape from this prison. Alright I'm out of here. Alright. Where is Leo? He's supposed to be here for old call. Somebody better round to me, or you all will be sent to the Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. Speaking of which, I heard him say something about escaping. I saw him change out of his pajamas and nightcap, followed by him running away from this place right before I went to bed. Oh my god. Thanks for telling me, Linny. You just saved everyone. That Leo is so going to face the consequences. You, you guys, guys can, can just, just use this, this time, time to have, have your chatty, chatty conversations. conversations. I'm going to call the police. Yes. Being out of their prison is the life. <sighs> On the ground. Hey. Let me go. You're under arrest for escaping Smile Away Reform Camp. You are going to jail. You know your rights. Escaping Smile Away Reform School for this? Why did I do it? Leo. I can't believe you escaped Smile Away Reform School. I have had enough with you. You are so grounded for 9 billion, 9 million, 9 thousand, 999 years. Go to bed right now. Stop the baby crying and go to bed right now. Leo Quincy and Ian June. Guess where we are going? We don't know. Please tell us. Fox and Nick really rule and friends have a concert tonight. To show them support, we are going to their concert tonight. You must be on your best behavior. Oh hell no. Absolutely not. There is no freaking way we are ever going to see those pieces of crap sing stupid songs. We want to stay here and watch shows on Nick Jr. like Bubble Guppies, Oswald, Ubi, and Wow Wow Wubsy. Cut it out right now. Whether you like it or not, we are going to their concert. So get in the car and let's go. Any drama and you will be grounded even more. Ugh. Fine. Give it up for Fox and Nick really rule and friends. We ask that you put all phones away and no talking while they perform. If you violate these, you're going to the office, where you could get ejected. Give it up right now. Hi guys. We are Fox and Nick Really Rule and Friends. We know that guy said this to you already, but please put all electronics away and focus on us. No talking either please. Anyway, let's get started with our first song. Thank you, thank you everyone. Up next, we have another great song. Take it. Forget everything those idiots said. 
We are going to sing a much better song. One, two, three, hit it. We're going on a trip, in our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through, through the, the sky, sky little, little Einstein's. Einstein's. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, you know better than to cut off Fox and Nick really rule and friends concert and sing that god awful theme song. We all hate you so much. I hope Daniel, Kate, Ravina, and some security guards kick your bodies when they get on the stage and take you away. Wrap it up now. VR. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Get off the stage and come with me right now. Well, 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 little Einsteins. It should be obvious why everyone booed you and I took you away. Now we're here. We're really sorry, Fox and Nick really rule and friends, Mr. Security Guard, and Mom, Dad, and Grandma. We just hated the songs Fox and Nick really rule sing and we just wanted to sing a better song. Your apology is unacceptable. You realized you have ruined our concert and made lots of people have to listen to a song that they hate. As a result, parents and grandparents of the Little Einsteins, you guys are going to be charged with a $1,000 fine. You are also never allowed to watch any concert again. I expect the payment to be at my desk by next week. You may all go home, and everyone who came to see our concert will be refunded. Leo Quincy Annie and June, let's go home right now. You guys have a lot of punishments coming your way. Leo Leo Leo, Quincy Quincy Quincy, Annie Annie Annie, June June June. How freaking dare you ruin Fox and Nick really rule and friends special concert. Thanks to you, we are charged a really humongous fine. That is so freaking it. You are so grounded until little Einstein's gets rebooted. Go to your rooms right now. And when you're in your room. We want you to write an apology note to tell Fox and Nick really rule and friends how sorry you are. And we will mail it straight to them when you are finished. Now go to your room and get busy. Wah 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 Man, I am so bored with absolutely nothing to do. What should we do today? I know guys. Leo, June, and Quincy. Let's max out our dad's credit card. What do you think about that? Oh my god Annie. You are a genius. Yes. Let's get some stuff with dad's credit card. Alright. Now that I have dad's credit card, what do you guys want to buy first? I think we should buy an Xbox One first. Yes. Let's buy everything we need. We need a flat screen TV, which is $500, the Xbox One, $300, and there's already one controller that comes, so let's buy three more controllers which are $90, and let's buy six games. Which six games do you want? I'd say let's have Grand Theft Auto 5, Fortnite, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, Madden NFL 20, NBA 2K20, and FIFA 15. Okay. Those six games are $300. So that's $1,200 altogether. Come on, let's buy all that and have our very own Xbox One. Hooray, we just got our very own Xbox One. We have our flat screen TV, the console, and three more controllers since there is already one controller in the box, and we have six games. This is going to be amazing. Come on, let's buy some more stuff. Alright. What do you guys want to buy next? Let's buy four IMAX for our room. That way, It'll be much harder to get bored. Alright, four IMAX are coming right up. Alright, four IMAX are coming tomorrow. Come on, let's buy some more stuff. Alright, next up is some better clothes than the ones we are wearing now, and some beds for us to sleep in, and some new cell phones with 256 gigabytes each. Aw, oh, isn't it so nice to have all this stuff? Yes. I am having fun playing Grand Theft Auto 5 right now. After this, I'm going to watch an episode of The Wonder Pets. Yeah. I'm so happy to be all cozy in bed while being in my pajamas all day long. I hope this can last us until the date of our death. We'll see about that.
Leo Quincy Annie and June. What is the reason why there are beds, computers, and an Xbox in your room? How did you get all that? Explain right now. Okay, Dad, you win. We used your credit card to buy all this stuff. We are really sorry. Oh my flipping god! Leo Quincy Annie and June, how dare you max out my credit card? Thanks. I am charged tens of thousands. That's it. I will give all this stuff back right now. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for six years. Go to bed now. And I will give away your laptop and donate it to charity. Also, as usual, you will never be allowed to leave your room under any circumstances. Have fun being grounded. Leo Quincy Annie and June, shut the frick up and go to sleep on the goddamn floor right now. Merry Christmas everyone. I hope you all have a great vacation. I'll see you in 2021. You hold it right there, little Einsteins. You guys have been really naughty. You guys got me fired for one thing. But there are many other naughty things you have done. As for your punishment, you will detention for one hour. Let me explain the rules, there will be, no talking, no sleeping, no getting up from your seats, no eating, no drinking, no chewing gum, no bathroom breaks, no daydreaming, and no burping or farting. You can't tell us what to do you stupid detention teacher. Besides, all we want to do is get the hell home so we can relax for the break. Let us go, right freaking now. Oh my god. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, how dare you say that to me. That's it. I'm calling your dad right now. Hello. Is this Daniel speaking? Yes. Your sons and daughters were very naughty in detention today. Can you please pick them up? Okay. That sounds great. Bye. I already called Daniel, and he's coming in three hours. Now stay in detention until he picks you up. This is just great. Now we have to stay here for three hours because of what we did. This is the worst day ever. Let's go home right now, Leo Quincy Annie and June. You guys are in loads of trouble. To your room right now. We don't care because we are on holiday break. Leo Quincy Annie and June, go to your room right now or you'll be grounded for longer periods of time. We don't care what we have done. Santa does not know about it. We are going to make a list of what we want and Santa will bring it to us. Alright. We're finished with our list. Let's just sit back, relax, and wait for Santa to come on Christmas Day. Yes. Christmas is here at last. Let's go see if we got anything. No 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 Santa didn't come. That's right. Santa didn't give you any presents. But, I do have one present for you. Really? You actually have a present for us? Yes I do. Let me go get it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I can't wait to see our one present. What is it going to be? No 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 Why did you get us a bucket of coal? I'm going to say it once, but I'm not going to say it again. You four have been very naughty this year. You hijacked the school bus, you locked me out of the house, you crashed rocket into Fox and Nick really rules house. You shaved my hair off, you got Mr. Lee and a fired, you tried to steal Fox and Nick really rule and friends I Mac at the Black Friday sale. You ruined Fox and Nick Willie Rule and Friends concert, and most importantly, you have been the worst troublemakers in Go City ever since. You are grounded for the rest of your entire lives. Now go back to your rooms and go to back to sleep forever. Man. I am so bored. 
What should we do today? Hey, that gives me an idea. Really? What is it this time? Let's make a video out of Sean Sullivan and the new sunrise. What should you think of that idea? That's a great idea, Quincy. But sadly, our dad gave away our laptop and donated it to charity. That's okay, because we can just use his computer. So what do you think, grounded video out of Sean Sullivan and the new sunrise or what? Of course Quincy. Let's make it. Alright. Daniel's password was just too easy. Let's make that video. Yes. The video is finally on YouTube. Let's watch some videos on YouTube. Sure. Whose videos do you want to watch? How about we watch a video made by Fox and Nick Really Rule? Alright. Let's watch the little Einsteins get grounded on Christmas. That was great. Let's look at our suggested videos to see what we should watch next. Wait a minute. What's that? Sean Sullivan and the New Sunrise. How do you guys make videos out of the little Einsteins? You know they are best shows ever. That's it. You guys are all grounded for 365 days. Go to your rooms right now and I will give away all your stuff. We heard everything. How dare those little Einsteins make a video out of us. They are so going to pay. Alright. Now that it's been a few hours, let's see how our video is doing. What in the name of hell? No likes and thousands of dislikes. Oh well, maybe the comments won't be that bad. God damn it. We got terrible comments. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Leo, Annie, June, Quincy. We all saw that video you made out of this. We cannot believe you did that. That's why we're all here. And you wanna know why else you guys got thousands of dislikes? Well, that's because your show sucks super ultra hard, and you should know it. I guess that means we're grounded, right? That's right. You are so grounded until Disney Junior shuts their channel down. Come with me right now. I've got a big surprise for you. Alright. Now that we're outside, close your eyes. I've got a big surprise for you. Um, Dad, why is it so dark in here? Haha, <laughs> I got you now. You guys have been trapped in this hole. You will stay here until your grounding time is over. I heard everything. I'm going to call my friends and let's have a party away from the little Einstein's hole.
Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. How dare you four own a terrible theme song that is only for kids? Even I'm too old for that. That's it. You're also grounded for 15 billion years. Go to your empty room right now. Ha 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 ha. I just grounded the little Einsteins. There he is mom and dad. That's the guy. To me, thanks for grounding the little Einsteins. They should that your show and your theme song is are much than theirs. I am calling mom and dad about this. As for you, Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June, you guys are grounded for 15 billion years. Go to your room right now. Timmy, I heard that you grounded the little Einsteins. They should know that you're so much better than them. As a result, you are so ungrounded. You're free whatever you want, and when we hire a babysitter, we will hire Fox and Nick really rule and not Vicky. Man, I sure am bored out of my mind. Leo, Quincy, and Annie, I know what we should do. We should download a gambling app so we can have fun and make money all day long. Holy crap. June, that has got to be the best idea ever. Let's get some gambling apps and let's show Fox and Nick really rule and his friends, Sean Sullivan, and the new Sunrise who's the boss. Alright. Now that we have gambling apps, let's sign up and make some money. All right, now that we made our accounts, it's gambling time. Holy crap. Gambling is the best. It has been five hours, and we just won $5,000. And it's going to be delivered tomorrow. Holy crap, we just got $5,000. What are we going to do with all this money? Hey dad, we just got $5,000. Can we please go to Walmart? Absolutely not. I know what will happen. Something will be too expensive and you'll throw tantrums over it, possibly leading to someone else buying it and you trying to steal it. So no. But dad, the thing that we want is only $500. We all have $5,000. So can we please go? Ugh. Fine. We can go. But you got to be on your best behavior. Got that? Look. There it is. That laptop. It's only $500. We can use our money to get it. Oh my god. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. I actually can't believe I'm saying this. Get that laptop and then we'll go home. I'm so proud of you. Oh no. Here comes the drama. God damn it. A teenage girl who looks just like one of Fox and Nick really rules friends, just took the laptop. We must get it back. Cheer up, little Einsteins. How about we buy this laptop instead? It's only $300. It's got all the stuff on the other laptop, but this one has Roblox built in. No way. We will get that other laptop back and it will be ours. Hey, come on. You know better. All right. Together, your laptop. Magenta pajamas and nightcap, light blue skirt, and light blue shirt with a red star will cost $600. Light blue and magenta will sure look good to you. Alright. Here is my money. Have a nice day. Give us our laptop right now. Look, it's not your laptop. Besides, I already paid for it, so it's mine, and you should know it. Yeah. She already paid for it. So it's hers, not yours. You must accept it. Besides, how could you afford it anyway? You four are too young for jobs. My three friends and I have jobs because we're old enough. How did you make money? We gambled on our phones. Wait, what? You gambled? I'm getting Daniel over here right now. I saw everything. We're going home right now. But do you know how they got all the money? Wait, how? They did gambling on their phones. Leo, Leo, Leo. Quincy, 
Quincy, Quincy, Annie, 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 June, June, June. I should have known that the whole time. I can't yell here but when we get home I will yell at the top of my lungs. Um, 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 uh, Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. How freaking dare you do gambling on your phones, and try to steal a laptop from one of Fox and Nick really rules friends. That's it. You are so 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 grounded for 15 years after the date of your death. And guess what? Today is punishment day. First punishment, spankings. Second punishment, we will give away your phones and donate them to charity. Third punishment, we will give away your pajamas and nightcaps and donate them to little kids. In fact, they're just rip-offs of my pajamas. Alright. Your pajamas have been given away and donated to charity. For the fourth punishment, let's go to the kitchen. Holy crap. What happened to the kitchen? We made this mess on purpose so you can clean it. This is your punishment. We want you to clean it up right now. Now prepare for your fifth punishment. Getting tied up in your rooms. Oh no. We're trapped in ropes. Alright. Now that the little Einsteins are punished, I'm going to call Fox and Nick Really Rule and the other two and we're going to party down. We heard about everything. Let's party down.
Go to your room right now, Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. Not this time, Dad. We just want to tell you that we're really sorry for all the bad things we have done in the past. From now on, we are going to be nothing but good people. We have grown up now. Wait, what? You guys have actually grown up now? Are you sure you guys are going to be good? Yes, it's true. We are no longer the bad guys. Oh my god. Kate, Ravina, get over here right now. What is it, Daniel? The little Einsteins are going to be non-troublemakers from now on. Oh my god. Leo, Quincy, Annie, and June. I'm so proud of you. You guys are so ungrounded forever. Let's go buy four new beds for you.